keloids and post-operative radiation. Is this a good idea? This is one of a series of videos that can be found on the website about cancer.com. Keloids are benign disease and have nothing to do with cancer, but radiation can be used to treat keloids and prevent them from recurring. A keloid is an abnormal growth of scar tissue. It forms at the site of a skin injury, such as surgical incision, ear piercing, or other injury, and it doesn't go away on its own. It's not clear why some people form keloids and most people don't. A typical keloid is found on the back of the ear after piercing. This is much more common in African Americans. The keloids can grow quickly or slowly. This is a picture of a boy who 18 months, over 18 months, the size of the keloid doubled in size. The keloids can be large or small. The typical keloids that we see are found on the back of the earlobe from an ear piercing. They can also occur higher up on the back of the ear on almost any part of the ear. As noted, most commonly on the back of the earlobe, this boy had a keloid on the front of the earlobe from a dog bite. This child had keloids from surgery across his abdomen. This child's surgery on his neck for a cyst, he developed a keloid. Another young patient with a keloid from surgery. This was a girl who had a seatbelt injury that formed a keloid. This was a child who had a bike accident and developed a keloid on the back of his leg. Another child, a keloid from surgery on a cyst on his neck. Keloids can be treated with cortisone injections, but they're not as effective, and most people don't want to have needles injected into the keloid. If you try to surgically remove a keloid, you basically make it mad and it grows right back. The best way to remove a keloid permanently is to surgically remove it and follow up with some low-dose radiation. Radiation is usually one, two, or three trips usually starting the same day or the next day after surgery. These are typical pictures of the day of surgery where the keloid was before and now there are just stitches or sutures and that's the radiation zone. This on the ear, this is a patient with a keloid on the neck, a keloid on the chest and that's what the incision looks like after surgery. A similar patient with the lesion on the back of the leg. When the patient comes over for radiation, a shield or cutout is made to expose only the skin that we want to radiate to the radiation. This is the area on the chest. This is a child with a keloid on the back of the earlobe. This is a child with a keloid higher up on the back of the ear. And you can see the shield exposes only the skin that we want to radiate. The patient lays on the x-ray table and the shield is taped over the ear. There's an electron cone device that comes out from the radiation that shines the radiation on the stitches. The patient does not feel anything when the electron comes out and the treatments take just a few minutes. Are there side effects? Well, the electron beam radiation will not penetrate deeply into the tissue. It only goes into the skin. The dose that we use to prevent keloids is much lower, 10 to 15 gray. For instance, then with dose we use to treat skin cancer, which is much higher. The only side effect, the child may show some slight sunburn, itching or redness or dryness in the area that was radiated. Most people notice nothing except some slight skin tanning or darkening that can last a few weeks. If the child is pregnant, then a pregnancy test would be indicated and you should avoid radiation, obviously. Is there any risk of causing cancer? There is a very small risk, but they've been radiating keloids for over a century, and the risk of causing skin cancer has been found to be very, very low. This is a picture of a typical radiation tanning over the chest after uh, keloid radiation. This is another child with a keloid in the neck, and the picture of the radiation skin tanning that showed up for uh, several weeks later. This is a typical child now two years later after we treated a keloid on his earlobe. You can see no effects of the radiation. Another child with a keloid now seven months later. 
In summary, with surgery alone, the keloid will recur in 45 to 100 percent of the cases. With postoperative radiation, the rate of a recurrence is somewhere between 2 and 27 percent, most studies less than 10 percent. The radiation is most effective if it's done as soon as possible after surgery.